What is the value system that we truly believe? Because we are the inheritors. And so we are the ones cultivating for the next generation to inherit. What do we want to give them? What do we want to tell our children and our grandchildren about being human? Nosotros como pueblo en colectividad siempre transmitimos el mensaje que tenemos que amarnos por encima de todo lo que somos. Porque muchas veces dejamos ese amor, esa paz interna por estar pensando en lo material. Claro que sabemos que es importante, pero siempre tenemos que encontrar la paz, el amor dentro de nosotros mismos para dar la paz al mundo. El mensaje que nosotros traemos es el mensaje de vibrar en amor, que todo es amor. Nosotros tenemos una máxima filosófica o una frase que es teguaj y neguaj, neguaj y teguaj. Tú eres yo, yo soy tú. Cuando comprendes ese concepto, eh, nos damos cuenta eh, que si tú estás bien, yo estoy bien. Entonces todo el tiempo estamos buscando el beneficio de la persona, que tú estés feliz. I'll bring more awareness. That is my dream, to see unity amongst all global tribes and indigenous people, and also the awakening from Europeans to realize that they are also indigenous people and indigenous tribes, that they somehow forget. And it takes us people, than the ancestral and the indigenous people, to help them remember. Um, I was mostly in the pre-planning and also in the receiving of tribes, so you're writing, you know, on the internet, on WhatsApp or email with all of them beforehand, asking what materials and supplies they need, uh, making sure that that gets uh, put in with the right department, making sure that it actually arrives. Um, <laughs> so these kinds of like logistical questions, like logistics is my specialty. Yes, the first weekend is really about getting the tribes comfortable, getting the tribes in, um, getting them settled to where they're sleeping, getting the food settled. And then the Art Hut coordinator and the Geo Haven coordinator also connect with them to start talking about the times that they want to do their um, presentations um, and their art workshops. So something I really focused on a lot this year was putting um, Geo Haven and the art workshops more in the hands of the tribes. Um, so when we had our big, uh, every Sunday before everything starts, we have a big meeting with the tribes to talk about, you know, this, this, this new year and all the things that are going to happen. I really liked, uh, this was Whitney's idea, was to implement a council this year. So if the tribes had any problems, because I mean, yeah, there's so many tribes from all around the world, so about 60 or so, um, they self-elected a council that they would meet with and any major ideas of things that could be um, made better or improvements, um, they would kind of bring those ideas together and then bring them to Whitney or somebody else from Whitney's team. Surrendering our presence to truly sit in those conversations that will enable us to progress and transform and create the unity that we all dream of and speak of. But there's a, there's a, you know, there is a journey between the speaking of it and the arriving at it. Relationships, potentialities only happen and evolve through commitment. So now activate those consciously. Tú tienes esa dicha de tener en un solo pequeño territorio los pueblos del mundo. Están aquí, estamos conviviendo como si yo hubiese trasladado físicamente. 
te digo en una pura palabra, en una pura frase, me siento libre. Es libertad. Es libertad de poder conversarlo. Es libertad con, como estamos. Es libertad que estamos comiendo en unión. Somos los mapuches, no los miramos. ¿quién es? Somos uno. Então, quando eles me convidaram para vir para cá, eu fiquei muito feliz, uma maior oportunidade para conhecer várias tribos e também muito longe para vir da aldeia para cá. A gente tem que sair da aldeia, do Brasil, de Brasil tem que pegar avião para o Panamá, para o Panamá tem que vir para o festival. É muito longe para vir para cá, é muito difícil para sair da aldeia. ಫಸ್ಟ್ <laughs> एकदम अच्छा है अच्छा है सब लोग हम लोग ऐसा ऐसा अच्छा तरह बिहेव कर रहे हैं Queremos hacer el festival y la esencia se ha cumplido. Siempre soñamos de que esto va a ser en hermandad, de hacer conocer nuestra cultura a través de nuestra arte, nuestras danzas, nuestra religión, que el pueblo onan lo tiene en vivo. Entonces, hoy teniendo las 60 tribus del país y del mundo, a mí me emociona, porque se está cumpliendo cada año de pequeño a grande y hoy es lo que es. Entonces, nosotros como sede nos sentimos sumamente emocionada. Estamos muy felices que por fin podemos unir fuerza a través de nuestras arte y cultura, no solamente de los pueblos indígenas de Panamá, sino de todas las tribus del mundo. Aunque no hablamos el mismo idioma, no tengamos la misma piel, sentimos que siempre estamos en sintonía. <risa> Our first ceremony was really mind-blowing. We didn't have any expectations. It's called a Ngao ceremony. The meaning of the words Sida, Sada, Tita, Tua, Tua means unity. That's why the song goes Sida, Sada, Tita, Tua, Tua. Tita is like theater. Make a noise collectively, a collective noise of, to bring unity amongst people from different walks and different Yeah. So that was like the first time that the song had come out among so many different tribes and people who have locked in a short while into it and the vibration of energy had been lifted up so high. This is like a plus, being here is like a, like a plus death. For example with you guys, like, like my understanding about film kind of like went especially when we work together, when I get to talk to you guys because back home I don't get that chance you know it's always me doing I'm a weirdo back home like I told you I'm always walking around cameras so this like interaction with people who do film who do music anything creative basically but like it, it gives me more understanding it's my opinion <laughs> I think it's a great platform for us as peoples to be able to stand together and share. You know, um, I think platforms like this should be created so that nations like ours uh, have a chance to speak about our culture and our ways, especially about uh, our ceremony or use of, of implements. Like everybody tends to think that we as Aboriginal people of Australia all play didgeridoo, but we don't. So just to hit on those marks that basically uh, speak of truth in who we are and not some sort of fantasy that has been read in a book. Entender un poquito más acerca de su cultura, ya que este festival lo que nos da la oportunidad 
es de manifestar nuestra palabra sagrada, de manifestar el, el que existimos en diferentes comunidades, en diferentes pueblos y somos escuchados por otras mismas comunidades. Todo el concepto de reciclado que tienen aquí, de salvar un poco y limpiar lo que, lo que el mar está aventando, plástico, tenedores, que es basura, y lo haces en una obra, de, de, en una obra, una creación, que tú la ves y ya no es basura. Es wow. Todo eso lo vamos a copiar y a poder llevar a las comunidades. Es, a nosotros nos gusta mucho competir y cuando hay alguien que quiere competir es como dale, vamos a hacerlo y es una forma de compartir, una forma de conocernos. Eh, pues al inicio un poco tenso porque mi mente para concentrarme siempre es como blanco y la gente estaba como oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. No estoy como muy acostumbrado a esas energías, a esas tanta gente gritando, como... Eh, pero bien, es bueno vivirlo, sentirlo. ¡Oh! ¡Oh! <risa> no lembro cuál es el nombre de las tribus también. Yo solo sé que ellos son mucha gente se conhece como se fosse uma minha família também, a gente se trata como se fosse minha família da aldeia. it would be a great opportunity to meet lots of different people in kind of an intercultural space. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what the accommodations would be or the food. And uh, I'm actually was pretty surprised at how big the event is and all the art installations and how much entertainment there is. I also saw some um, Amazonian indigenous bands play up on the carney too. And it's kind of like punk. Amazonian, indigenous traditional music, and everybody was just headbanging and moshing, whatever the hell people do to punk. It was an amazing, like, nexus and interweavings of different people from all different backgrounds kind of coming together through the music. <laughs> I did know that I would like meeting other people from other tribes, which uh, I really enjoyed doing, but um, there have actually been some good, really great entertainment acts. O festival para mim como se fosse uma festa para mim. Na aldeia também a gente participa de cada festa, cada ano. O festival para mim é um orgulho para mim participar de um festival assim, uma oportunidade de conhecer várias pessoas.
to experience all of this. It's, it's a beautiful thing, man. I think everybody in their lifetime should experience something as similar as this, definitely, yeah. I think the uh, strongest feeling I had was when I attended the uh, fire ceremony last night. Yeah, I uh, connected with uh, the guy who went into a trance and I felt that uh, the feeling he had, you know, the feeling of uh, full connection with uh, the highest uh, power possible that you can connect with. He basically went into a trance and I felt that. De hecho, justo acabas de decir la tribu que más me asombró fueron los de la India. O sea, ver la perfección desde que llegaron ellos estuvieron trabajando toda su ceremonia durante tres, cuatro días, eh, confeccionando su traje, su estandarte para generar una energía. La, no, no nos perdimos las dos exhibiciones de ellos, en una, en una fue el el dios del fuego, con tanto fuego, sus 13 niveles, entonces todo el tiempo yo estaba, soy muy observador, entonces todo el tiempo estaba observando la perfección de su ceremonia, realmente de todo, de todo lo que hubo aquí, eso fue lo que, wow. ऐसा गौरे विष्णु शिवा ऐसा इधर आ गया फिर ऐसा अपना पुराने में ऐसा ऐसा ये कि तेज़ का रूप अलग अलग है उस उसमें से हम लोग वो रिसीव करके वही कर रहे हैं मतलब इसका मतलब विष्णु विष्णु मूर्ति वही से वो विष्णु का आवाज़ है उसमें से वो नरसिंह हो वही है विष्णु मूर्ति ऐसा कर रहा है ऐसा ऐसा � Durga ke ruwe hoy, chamundi. Aisa, aisa, aisa bi amlo karna hai. To just see how it continues to weave, and that even new people coming into the space are part of that weave, and just further that weaving, and that those that were part of that conversation last year are also back here, and to see how that's weaving, that excites me because it actually strengthens what we call the fariki, the mat that is being woven of the many people. And for me, it's confirmation. My root is in the tribalism, it's a traditional way of living. From a kid to now, it's always been like traditional. I speak my own native language. I go farming, I go fishing, and I still get to experience the, 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 the modern way of living because I still, you know, do my shit in the city and back in the village. It's basically, I'm in between worlds constantly. The main, I think, difference between uh, tribal life a long time ago and modernity with those of us who live in more urban spaces is that sometimes we forget that really you should go about your whole day praying all the time and thinking about the life force that runs in any everything that's also a part of you. And um, I'm not Christian, and I used to think it was pretty corny for people to, uh, you know, pray before dinner. But now I'm like, oh, of course, they're right. And then they should do it like 10 more times in their own way. <laughs> Here at the festival, 
I believe we're eating all local food. The fruit is amazing. We're cutting coconuts off trees, drinking, drinking the juice, eating the meat. It's so good. Forma de vivencia es única. Por lo menos nosotros creemos mucho el respeto a la madre tierra. Para nosotros el cosechar o tener una finca, como le dicen acá en Panamá, no es solamente lo, lo material, es preservar y decir, porque ahí conviven seres vivos, animales, plantas, que también a nosotros, así como nos proveemos de ellos, nos, ellos proveen de nosotros. There's quite a lot of poverty in the surrounding villages here, and um, you know, it, it, it's in a way, it's a really easy thing for us to do is to kind of you know, give away some of our excess, um, and knowing that it's going to go somewhere where you know people are going to really, you know, be, like benefit from it, and you know, might make a little bit of. Um, kind of happiness in their lives, you know. And um, yeah, so we went to the local village in Quango um, with a, a, you know, a, a boot full of boxes of things. And, um, you know, it was a lovely moment, um, you know, seeing all of the village congregate in, in, the, in the sports center of the village. <laughs> Having seen what went down really well this time, and what things kind of like were still left on the bench at the end. Um, it might be that we can um, maybe focus on a few of the more desirable things next time if we do it again. There's actually no resources here at all. So from the first builders on site, their first jobs is to put in the power and the water and bring those resources here so we can start building up. Um, quite difficult to do the build here because we're so remote and in such an extreme environment so people are here for six to eight weeks before the event getting everything set and ready getting all the materials from the jungle and yeah just building up a storm <laughs> prior to the festival it's about kind of planning the logistics tools equipment materials and people required to build all of the various elements of the festival, like the stages, you know, mainly kind of the visual kind of elements of the festival. There's the carpenters who build stuff, there's the, the decor team who, who do kind of the, the finishing off and making things look beautiful. And, um, and then, you know, we've got some support teams, you know, that kind of like bring stuff in, um, you know, logistics and so on. And it's just kind of bringing all of those elements together at the right time, at the right place. We run our own kitchen, our own bars, smoothie shop, chai shop. Um, we have a carny performance. We have the Geohaven, which is the tribes. Um, we have two music stages. Um, and then we also have our central hub that provides all the different services uh, to all the people. I'm full in production. I'm a production assistant. There's like about six of us and we're all running, we're all doing production. So it's good. There's a good amount of people behind the scenes. It's been a big learning curve. It's been interesting. Uh, I've learned definitely a lot. I've learned a lot about myself when you're put in kind of high stressful situations. I mean, this is different from a regular festival as well because it's not four or five days, it's 18 days. So you need to pace yourself and you need to make sure that you kind of take some self care. I think probably everybody's had their little moments of struggles. Um, and, and, but you know, it's just a matter of giving them a bit of space to to work that out and then they come back even stronger um, and um, you know I think everybody learns a little bit through this process learns something about themselves as well as you know about how other people operate it's quite a, a kind of a challenging environment to work in and it pushes everyone to their limits really <laughs> one of the best things about this festival is the people and I think the people make it, even though it's a long festival and it's 
tiring that the people are the things that make the shifts go and they make you enjoy your time here so yeah We've got to recognise what is culture. It's our inherited ways of cultivating humanity that have come from our ancestors. You know, the goal is cultivating us so that we can continue. Culture, you know, it just holds the ideas of our ancestors and traditions are the good ideas that last. And once the idea is no longer any good or useful, you get rid of that tradition. So it's our responsibility to sit and look at our cultures and go, they're good traditions in there. And what are those good traditions? Yeah, let's highlight those ones. They're the ones I want to hand on to my kids. Este año miré más niños también. Eso es muy importante. Los los niños son buena medicina también. Então, quando, quando eu vim a primeira vez aqui, meu filho tinha seis meses. Aí a gente veio aqui para compartilhar e ter câmbio com a cultura diferente. Aqui também estou gostando muito de conhecer as pessoas, muitas pessoas diferentes, cada ano um muda as pessoas. É, é isso. Então, o meu filho está crescendo aqui, ele está gostando muito do festival. Quando a gente veio para o Panamá, ele falou que... Ele ia vir para cá, né? ele ficou muito feliz, que aqui ele brinca muito, conhece várias pessoas. Ele arruma mais amigos também para ele ficar aqui. I believe that playing almost any game, playing like a child, you know, makes you really enjoy what you do. And I believe that we cannot achieve world peace if we don't see each other as equal and when you see each other through the eyes of that inner child that is playful uh, is innocent and non-judgmental then we achieve real equality <laughs> I think the world needs to get grounded again. I think my final message would be get grounded, get to understand more, get to experience more. Learn, man. Just learn and be open-minded. That's like the most important thing. Be open-minded to whatever life has to bring to you. Sinceramente, por ejemplo, uno se llega a sentir en, por, en los pocos días en hermandad. Esta es mi hermana, este es mi hermano, esta es mi familia, este es mi amigo. Every human being is 80% water. Yes, we are quite a big river here. And it's just this flowing past and going past and tapping into one another's sources. And there's this river go. We are 80% 80 water, so it's a, it's a river. We are part of a bigger river. We are part of a flow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's where so many people coming together with the same intention and the same moral, the same frequency, looking towards the same direction, trying to find a vision, a vision that will make us aware and bring more dignity to our own and to each and other for future preservation of our planet, Mother Earth, Pachamama. Kai Gan Gans!